actually running late. Um, I have to do this quickly. I'm meeting up with my sister. Hi, it's the beginning of a new vlog. Uh, I might put in some footage of what I was doing earlier on today. I'm meeting up with my sister for drinks and dinner. And I was with my sister earlier on for brunch. So I'll insert that footage somewhere here. So, so I need to get my life and move um, how are you this is the beginning of a new vlog um, I don't know today is such a beautiful day in Johannesburg it is so beautiful I met with my sister she called I called her I'm like yo bro where you at and she was like bro I'm so and so and so, come through. And then I came, got there. My sister made me drink mimosas. What, what is that? Why does she do that when she knows? I do not drink champagne. I do not drink body sparkling wine for the mimosas and whatever. I see, I can't even say the name. Uh, but when I got there, the bottle was on the table and I'm just like, yo, baby. So, yeah. So, uh, chilled with her there for about two hours had our drinks and all of that and uh, <sighs> then got back. It is currently quarter to five. We got back at around half past three and <laughs> we're going back out again. Um, purely because the plan was just to sit at home for me today. Um, and then my sister was like, what do you even mean? We're cute, we're pretty. We were not cute when we went for the mimosas. I can tell you that right now. So we are going back to the same place because it is in our area. And the thing is, we just don't wanna, we don't wanna drive and get onto the freeway and all of that. Of course we're driving, I'm driving, uh, but we don't wanna, you know, get onto the freeway, drive all the way to the north and all of that. We, it's, it, we just wanna hang out. We really, that's all we wanna do. So when we were there, we had such a good time. The vibe was so lovely because the weather is nice. Go, baby, be girl, back in a man. Back in city makeup. Oh, back in city. Go, baby, sexy way. Nah. And my sister and I were looking crusty. Crusty. And I think we felt some type of way. And we were just like, nah, we're going to come back here. And we spoke to the manager and we asked him to book us a table for later on tonight. We're going to get there around six. And then probably have an early dinner, not even an early dinner, maybe like tapas or something. Nothing really hectic because I don't know what I'm going to wear. I'm currently wearing the, the famous, infamous black dress that I'm always wearing in my vlogs um, because I'm always wearing black. Is this new to any of you? Probably not, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, so my sister and I didn't really have plans today and then we just thought, eh, Let's just spend the day together. So that's what we're doing. We're going to go back and chill out and, you know, all of that. Thank you to everybody who watched the previous vlog where I spoke about growth and healing and uh, losing yourself and, 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 and because of relationships and all of that stuff. Uh, there was a comment that I saw on there. And I think the comment was definitely done with good intentions and all of that. Um, about, you know, how uh, I should heal <laughs> before going into a new relationship, whatever, only based on the fact that, why is it so dark? The comment was based on the fact that I had said, um, healing is linear and you don't necessarily have to be fully healed from something before starting something new. Um, and I stand by that statement because what I meant by saying that, I think the comment was in the sense that, yeah, but you need to heal before, heal fully before moving into something else. So you're going to bring your toxic stuff, stuff, stuff. 
that you carried from the previous relationship into the new one. I think what I needed to make clear with that is when I say that, I mean that the, the bulk of the work that you need to do on yourself must be done before you start something else. Um, as I say that healing is not linear, I actually mean that it isn't linear. It comes those moments where you're thinking about what happened and all of that. They come, they go. You regress a little bit, then you you get back to, you know, the healing. And then you regress a little bit. You'll think about it again. Then you'll get back. So it's not linear. It's something that comes and it goes. But the process, the journey to getting to be a better person is a long one. And your life can't stop now that... Um, you feel like, okay, I must be at my optimum, I must have healed and whatever to move into something else. Healing takes a long time. For many people, healing is a lifetime process, okay? So it doesn't necessarily mean, I do not absolutely know where my palette is. It doesn't necessarily mean that, <sighs> Balissa is calling me, sorry, hang on two seconds. Sweetie, what's going on? I, you know, I want, I want to, I want to be here for this conversation, but you gotta land the plane. So sorry about that my friend called Do you, could you see how I did my makeup in 20, in 20 minutes wild um, but let's was on the phone but basically what I was saying is that healing is not a linear process like it, it's it's continuous so you saying that no I'm gonna wait till I'm fully healed um, before I start something new, how do you know that you're fully healed unless you have something to compare that to? So if you have, you, you believe you're fully healed, you believe you're fully healed. Do you hear what I'm saying? If you believe you're fully healed and then you start something new with somebody and then something happens to trigger you, then you're not really fully healed, but you are healed enough to actually move on and start something new with someone else. That's what I mean. So I know for a fact that you're not just going to heal from something of years or whatever overnight or however long it was, if you were passionate about someone for six months and it hurts, it can hurt the same way as it would with someone for three years. You know, the amount of time, the quantity is nothing when it's matters of the heart. You can be with someone for six months and, you know. So basically what I'm saying is that, no, healing is a linear process. You're never going to know if you're fully healed unless you enter into something new and then you realize that, oh, I'm not triggered by anything and blah, blah, blah. Those triggers are what remind you of where you come from. Those triggers are what remind you that you're, yeah, that regressing, that little moment in your head where you're just like, mm -hmm. that, that stuff, it shows you that you're not completely there yet. But you have chosen yourself enough to, to tell yourself that, you know what, I'm moving on with my life. I don't have time to be sitting in this space and in this what, because I feel like I haven't healed or I want to heal, blah, 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 blah. I have done what I can right now and I feel strong enough to actually start something new right now with someone else. 
and whatever happens after that the regressing and the triggers and whatever I will work on them as I go hence I say healing is not a linear process however you have to be at a certain point where you feel like I'm okay I feel strong enough to start something new then do it do it because let me tell you something something baby girl about men's daughters okay or even just whoever let me tell you something that other person could be perfectly fine and here you are sitting utota, and thinking about somebody that you were with for however long however many years ago and whatever but you feel that you because you're not okay sometimes you need to choose yourself and tell yourself you know what I've taken six months off. I want to jump into something. I want to try. I want to. I want to mix with other people. I want to. I want to. I want to feel cute. I want to look cute. I want to. You know. I want somebody to to call me and da 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 da. da. It's not going to happen while you're sitting in the house saying that you're healing. You're healing. You're healing. You have to test that fact. That have I healed? Let me see. Because you're not really going to know. Hooray, I've healed and whatever. There are going to be things that are going to trigger you. I had a bad day just um, a couple of days ago. I had a bad day where I was just like, I felt like, oh, I don't know. Am I? Uh, uh, uh. And today I'm fine. You, ga you got to choose yourself. At some point, you got to choose yourself, really. Oh, hi, hi, good morning, I wish I could take this further away, but <clears throat> good morning, hey y'all, uh, we're back at it, but I'm actually getting ready again, uh, but yeah, no, today is going to be a very, very quick light, light beat, do I ever do a light beat, is that even me? So I didn't film much yesterday because I went out with my sister and we had a good time. Uh, my anxiety peaked quite a lot when we were out yesterday because I know that when I'm out with my sister, a bunch of people are going to come up to our table. Uh, hi, hey, hi, Katleo. Like even with me yesterday, a bunch of people came up. Hey, Katleo, hey, what? Hwara, hwara, hwara. Which, which is phenomenal. Like meeting uh the guys and girls who watch us and whatever for me is really really great it's just a beautiful moment and i always i always always take snaps of it and i put it on my instagram and all of that it just <clears throat> my anxiety peaks a lot of the time because the people who come up to you aren't wearing masks <laughs> And for me, it's still a big deal. Like, for me, it's just like, but please, no. Like, I'm already seated at the table. And I, and I think I could also do better with this one and also wear a mask when they come up or whatever. But sometimes they want to take pictures and all of that. It's just a little... It's just a little scary for me because I haven't even gotten my second jab yet. Like, guys, please. <laughs> <laughs> so uh for me it was just i yo, my anxiety peaked like a bunch of people came to our table uh and and yeah when when they came they're not wearing their masks i mean i'm obviously not wearing my mask i'm eating you know and all of that so my mask is sitting in my bag and all of that so it's just like hey and they immediately reach in to hug you and all of that and yo for me my anxiety really really peaked because uh, I've been working real hard to not get the virus and all of that. And I'm not saying that the people we meet have it or whatever. They, you know, it's just, it's just that consideration sometimes. And uh, the anxiety-driven part of me just went wild. Uh, but I realized that maybe... Um, I understand that sometimes maybe, you know, uh, guys are just excited, you know, like, hey! and they want to hug and whatever and i'm not speaking for my sister with this uh, my sister is her own person and she can speak on this if she wants to but for me uh 
and my anxiety is very, very anxiety inducing. It's frightening for me. So I, I think I, I just, I don't know. I think, um, I'm making a plea to you guys as you watch this now that please, yes, if you do see me out and about either with my sister or eating or wherever I am with whoever I am, please, please, please do keep your mask on and I will wear mine as well. Uh, but it, it, it's kind of really, really anxiety inducing for me. It's really, really difficult to handle because it's just like, you but, but no, you know, um, but nevertheless, like, yo, please do, do come up, say hi, whatever you are. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, oh, the lighting is phenomenal today. The day is great. So I'm wearing my makeup because I'm going to be, wow, that's a terribly done brow. Okay. I'm wearing my makeup because I'm going to be meeting my sister for brunch. And uh, I'm going to do a very light face. In fact, I'm not even, I doubt I'm going to even wear any, um, I doubt I'm even going to wear any eyeshadow. Just going to do lashes, face, highlight. That's it. That's it. Quince, oh no, 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 bronze a bit, that's it, um, yeah, so, and I need to wash my brushes today, because, wow, this is disgusting, hang on, hang on, hang on, so, she told me something about how we might go to a, like a farmer's market in the south, apparently we have a farmer's market in the south, I don't even know that, okay, so, uh, really looking forward to this. I want to see this farmer's market. So I just want to look cute. Just want to look put together, you know, just in case pictures are taken or whatever. I just want to look cute. So, just the light beat is on right. Um And then the plan was to also potentially go and see a movie with my friend later. But we hadn't, I hadn't confirmed anything with him, so I don't even know, I mean, uh, but there is a movie that I do want to see, uh, the name of the movie is Free, the Free Guy, with Ryan Reynolds, seriously, I have a crush on Ryan Reynolds, okay, okay, um, so yeah, that's, that's the movie I want to see, um, but we hadn't confirmed anything, and really, to be honest, I've had such an up and down weekend, that I really just wouldn't mind hanging out, but uh, hang out at home. Um, but yeah, if he does mention anything, then maybe much later on in the afternoon. This afternoon will go. But I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna say. Uh, really, really had a good time yesterday. It's such a great time, um, and I'm so glad that I ended up going out with my sister because I was so much in my fields yesterday in the morning. I'm just going through some shit, you know, be like that sometimes. I was really in my fields yesterday, and I'm glad my sister was just like, nah, come, come join me, let's have brunch. Somebody was asking in one of my videos what powder I'm using. Uh, in my previous video, somebody was asking me what powder I'm using. I'm using this one. It's the MAC one, MAC MSF Mineralized Skin Finish in dark. That's the one I always use. That's my setting powder. That's what I use all the time. I do need to put something on my eyes. I feel like I look weird. How it goes. Okay. Ooh. My neighbor has a BMW X4. No, not X4. What's it? M4. Yep. He's revving it up right now. I don't know if you can hear it, but he's revving it up. Mmm. He is doing the absolute most. But yeah, I do enjoy seeing you guys when I'm out and about. I really love it, actually, personally. Uh, <laughs> but champagne people relax. But champagne people relax the album. I don't listen to champagne people now. Nah. Is it good to those who do listen to champagne people? Is it good? Would love to know. Um. This is my outfit for today. You can see I'm in all white. This, the last time I was dressed like this was on my birthday, which is months ago. So 
I like it. It's easy, it's clean, it's fresh, it's casual. Um, it's a bit hot for what I'm wearing, but I don't care. Okay. Um, winter's out and winter's my favorite season. So I'm going to just do it up one last time. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go see the kids. Let's go see what we can take footage of today. Okay. Right. What do you even mean, bro? Hey. Can you see how bright it is? Can you see this? That's what they, they call soft, softbox. They want softbox, guys. Yeah, that's what that is, right? Like to be like that sometimes. Oh my god, okay. Hi! What's good? Uh, can I just. Uh, hi! Wow! So I've got one of my softbox lights on. Softbox lights on. The other one is over there somewhere. Um, hi, let me just adjust you real quick. I feel like you need to, you need to come down a bit. Hi, how is it? How are you doing? Uh, I'm sitting in here because today's going to be a bit of a long night. I've got a bunch of work to do. The softbox is not going to be on much longer because these lights get hot, okay? They get really hot, but I'm really just testing them out. Um, just a quick recap, had a crazy weekend with my sister. Had a really, really good uh, weekend out and about just living. What do you even mean? It was so much fun. Um, so we did that with my sister over the weekend. And then on Sunday, uh, I went out with... <laughs> and uh, we watched the movie Free Guy. Uh, because I wanted to see it and because personally I have the biggest crush on Ryan Reynolds. Okay, nah, I can jump in with my but Ryan Reynolds, I can make an exception. Okay, um, so we went to go watch that and yeah, then after that I met my family for dinner. It was just a really long, busy weekend. Um, so I was really exhausted uh, yesterday evening and today. I'm, I'm actually just, I'm done, done tired over my life um nevertheless it is monday today i got a ton of stuff to do i'm going into the office tomorrow it is currently half past eight yes it is half past eight i think i'm gonna be in here till maybe about 11 um sorry about that till maybe about 11 and just just pushing some things you know um, so I just wanted to pop in. I don't know how long this vlog is going to be. I really don't know. Probably not going to be that long. I cooked earlier on today, but I cooked stuff that I have prepared on this channel before. So I really didn't want to re-film things that I've already cooked. You know what I mean? So I didn't do that. So I came on here. This little segment is for the readers. Uh, I've got four books with me here. You can see them. Eh? You can see them, um, but one, I, I bought them all a while ago. Uh, wow, gents, gents, gents. The one that I finished a couple of days ago, finished it on Saturday. I had been reading it for the longest time. I think I'd been reading it for about three weeks is this one. This is A Man Called Uva by Frederick Bachman, who is a Swe Swedish author, I think. He's a Scandinavian author. I'm not quite sure which country. I, I'm pretty sure it's Swedish. Yes, Swedish. Um, and it was one of the loveliest books. Tear jerking, so warm, so warm hearted. Um, it follows the life of a man called Uva, O V E. Uve, or Uva, I don't know how you say it, but it's definitely not Ove or O V. Um, and he is an old, grumpy old-timer who uh, lives in this estate and he pretty much polices everything and everyone. He's an old man who really just has such a sweet and genuine um, soul. It's a really difficult book to read as well because it's got very triggering um, subjects as well. Um, but uh, the book is set in a dual time span where you see Uva's life 
um, when he was younger and the life that he's currently living uh, he loses his wife and yeah just a whole lot of stuff happens but he's just this grumpy man who's just really got the most genuine and sweetest heart but he kind of does things you know uh, I'll do it but he's doing like the really nicest things so great um it follows just the life of his interactions with his neighbors uh when new neighbors move into his estate and um yeah some of them have kids and it's just really beautiful it's a really great book i don't know how to explain it uh but he's just really really a grumpy old sod <laughs> he really is um but he is sweet and he's stern he's firm and whatever but he's just got a heart of gold and when he loses his wife you know things change for him and something happens at the beginning of the book that is really really uh hard to read um but changes start happening in and around where he lives and he starts connecting more with his neighbors um not willingly in the beginning but they seem to gravitate to him quite a bit and uh yeah things change a little bit for him so this is really really great it's a great book definitely a five out of five for me it took me quite long to read a book that i enjoyed so much but but nevertheless it took me a while to read it because i've just really been busy over the last couple of weeks especially over the weekends which is typically the time that i would read the most so be like that sometimes one I am currently reading, and I started reading this one on Saturday, and uh, I am over halfway through, is The Arrangement by Robin Harding. Now, this is a domestic mystery thriller kind of book. And of course, granted, me being me, I'm going to whiz through it very quickly because it's a thriller, and I really love thrillers. They've got really short chapters. You can get through it. Uva was a little bit hard to read because chapters were slightly longer so this one is like literally four three four five six pages and then you're in the next chapter um so this was really quick for me to read this follows the life of natalie a young girl who moves from uh, washington to new york on a school bursary or something she studies fine arts but she gets to new york and quickly realizes that uh it's tough living in New York, um, struggling to make ends meet with work and school, tuition, fees, rent, that kind of thing. And uh, she ends up getting into a life that she never thought that she would get into. Um, I don't want to say... Yeah, so basically, yeah, essentially what it says at the back, I don't want to spoil anything, but she falls in love with an older man, a wealthier older man, uh, and she adopts this certain lifestyle. But what she then realizes is that she falls for this man that she was not meaning to fall for. She really wasn't even interested in him. She was not meaning to fall for him, but she does. And uh, when that happens, she finds out that he's married <clears throat> and he's got kids and blah, blah, blah. A kid and uh, yeah things kind of turn south um, so so far really really interesting and one of the big reasons why she moved to New York is because she has got an ex back in Washington who is uh, yeah who was treating her badly and was abusive and all of that and she just wanted to move to New York to get away from all of that only to find that he might have followed her to New York City so it's really good Really, 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 really good. Um, so far, so great. Yeah, it's got about 300, <clears throat> 340 pages. Yeah, and I'm on just under 200 pages. So we're quickly whizzing through this. I'm trying to reach my target. That's book number 21 for the year. I'm trying to reach my target of 35 books. I think initially it was 39. I'm just like, who am I? Who do I think I am? Uh, what I am reading in the meantime is this, which is amazing. This is something, it's not a novel, it's just like passages, phrases here and there. Uh, if you love Rupi Kaur's The Sun and Her Flowers, Milk and Honey, all of that, this is Rupi Kaur on steroids. This is a thousand times better. It's not, it doesn't feel as flaky as some of Rupi Kaur's, you know, phrases, lines, statements in All in the Name of Poetry. Uh, this 
This is Flowers on the Moon by Billy Chapata. It's really just got, I don't know, if you can see, it's just got phrases, passages, right? Which uh, really are in reference to healing, growth, self-love, uh, healing from heartbreak and all of that. It's just got such beautiful phrases, which if you follow me on Instagram, you will see me putting them up there and tagging and, 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 and. Um, and it's just so beautiful. It's so beautifully written. So follow me on Instagram because that's where you pick up things like this. Where I'm reading certain things and that's where you pick up this kind of stuff. Uh, and uh, one that I've had for a while but I haven't started reading. I will definitely start after this one. This is Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. I know Cebu's picked up this book as well. I just might just give him a call and be like, uh, sir, how about we read it together? Then we'll talk about it. I mean, mm -hmm, what do you mean? Um, but when I saw it in his video, I had, I think I had a week or a week and a half having purchased my copy of it. So really excited to read it because I've always been fascinated with Greek mythology. And this of course follows uh, Achilles and the relationship that he develops. Achilles, the Greek God mm -hmm. and the, re the Greek hero <clears throat> and um, the relationship that he develops with Petroclaus, pa Petroclaus, Petroclaus, Petroclaus. <laughs> and yeah basically um you know the the relationship that he develops with him and they bond and yeah so i i i really excited to read that one maybe i must just wait for cb to read it first and then i'll read it i don't know uh but that's pretty much it so i'm gonna go hope you guys enjoy the vlog really really basic one this time around and i'll see you in the next one